what we will do with Cassini is direct it into the atmosphere and it will uh, burn up in the atmosphere. It will be going so fast and the friction will heat it so much that it will just melt and eventually vaporize and there won't be anything left of it. So it will feel in some sense like a death in the family, uh, you know, something you've devoted your life to for 27 years and then it will be gone. We found brand new phenomena in the rings of Saturn. We found an entire class of small objects, we call them moonlets, that are orbiting among the ring particles and migrating back and forth across the rings. It was just a startling discovery. So Titan ended up being like a world almost literally out of science fiction. It's a place where the, the look of the place is familiar, but the feel is not because the substance in the Titan environment that takes the place of water on the Earth's surface environment is methane. So it could resemble, maybe, um, the early Earth in being ripe for some kind of development of biology. Another moon that was fascinating to us was the small moon called Enceladus. And our very first images found a plume. This plume of material was actually dozens of geysers coming from four very prominent fractures that cross the South Polar terrain. And they are sourced in a subsurface global ocean that has a salinity comparable to the Earth's. Here's a place where we would go in search of life that is likely similar to ours. In my opinion, that is the most exciting, most thrilling question that we face in the exploration of the solar system now. And this is why we explore. We explore to, uh, to see new worlds, to survey them, to understand uh, and come to know why they are the same or they are different than our world.